We're sitting here just across the street from the landing on the Chippewa Floage, and we're talking with David Kuhn. And Buju, all right. How you doing this morning? I'm doing great. You look wonderful here. Uh, tell me, David, you're involved with Fishing Has No Boundaries here in a number of ways. Tell us a little bit about uh, how you got involved with this whole um, this uh, whole presentation here, where we're taking out, you know, people from all over uh, the region here, out on the lake today to fish. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, about 24 years ago, my uh, a really close friend of mine is a paraplegic, and uh, he met the fellow who founded the event, Bobby Camack, at a sports show down in Madison, and they invited us up here. And I'm from the Lacoudre Reservation here, and I uh, have a home on, on the lake here. And we, uh, so I invited him to come up and stay with me, and we went to the first event ever. And after, after the very first event, there was for all of these, uh, for this entire organization. Uh, I, it was a life-changing experience for me. Actually. Were you in, were you in the wheelchair no, at that time? No, it was no. before you had your accident. Yes, yeah, so I was an attendant for uh, other disabled persons. And then I started guiding for the events because I went out and I bought a, uh, a 1957 old 28 foot pontoon boat, which I redesigned and rebuilt and have every year. Still have that same boat, and for, uh, for been using it now for 23 years, and taking lots and lots, hundreds, if not thousands of people out fishing. Avid, my boat. avid fisherman since you're a young kid, or yeah, right. always, yes. Well, I'm, well they uh, say it's all being. Uh, being where I'm from, fishing uh, on both sides of my family, my mother and my father's side both, uh, have been great fishermen. You're, you're Harold, uh, Harold from the uh, whitefish community. Yes. Yes. And my grandfather was a guide on, on Lake Coudre and some other lakes around here. And his name was? Uh, uh, Louis Kuhn. Louis Kuhn. Yeah. And he's got his name to guide in some of the people here who... Uh, they have taken record muskies out of the floage, if I remember right. That's right. That's right. And did, it, does, did he have a history with uh, the landing formerly known as Herman's Landing over there now owned by the sure. tribe? I'm really not sure because I, I never read anything about, about that. And I never had the opportunity because he passed away when I was about three. But I do remember it, which is amazing. But anyway, so uh, six years after the very first event, I had a real bad accident at work down in Milwaukee. You used to work on construction. Yes, I, was in, I did iron work. And uh, so after, after that, I became a participant instantly. And while I was laid up, I thought, well, there's a lot more in life that I can do to help out other people. Uh, but fishing was what I really know how to do. Just like John Kennedy said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Well, I know how to fish. So I, so I thought, that's what I can do to help everyone. But helping disabled persons of all different types of disabilities is really a heartwarming uh, experience. But once, once you come to one of our events here, you know, because of uh, the camaraderie, how many boats you got? How many boats are going out there today? I saw them lined up along the shore of the pontoons. How many boats do you think are going out? Just over a hundred. Over a hundred boats. All and, different types of boats, all different sizes. And they're going to have uh, handicapped uh, uh, individuals on there, yes. mentally or physically um, handicapped people who tend not to get a lot of opportunities to go fishing because of their handicaps. That's right. A lot of people, it's one time year that they have the experience, the opportunity to get out with the same kind of love of fishing with your grandparents. Remember when you were real little, you got you were able to go out fishing with your grandmother, grandfather, or your uncles, and, and uh, you know, how secure and how much love you felt at that time, but the knowledge of it. But uh, it, it really makes you feel like you're a part of something, but you're also a being a part of something, just like us tri our, uh, tribal persons, I mean, we're a part of America, but we're, we're part of a, our entire tribe, and I think that, is, that helps us all even become stronger persons individually, being, part of, being, being a part of something. What, do you, what can you tell me about uh, some of the sponsors of this? Uh, you, you've had a chance to meet them. Who, who, who are they? Where do they come from? Well, I've met people from all over. Actually, all over the world, who have helped or, or try to help and have fish with us. Oh boy, I, I don't know. Steve Forbes is one of them. Um, 
And Mark Adonacio, the owner of the Brewers. We got all kinds of wonderful people, uh, uh, different foundations. Lots and, of people. and was fishing has no boundaries started here on the Chippewa Falls? Right here, right here on the Chippewa Falls. Right across from Herman's Landing, which is now the landing, and our tribe is running it as a beautiful job. And Denny and his wife do a fantastic job of everything there. And it's all new cabins. It's really beautiful. If you want to come to a spot that you're going to really enjoy, come to, come to the landing because the fishing is fantastic. The views, it will take you back hundreds of years in your mind. It make you feel like you're really a part of nature. They're now expanding Fishing Has No Boundaries into other areas, yes, affiliate we a, programs? We have 11, in 11 different states, okay. we have 22 events, and that's growing. I was able to help start one uh, in Madison and Milwaukee, and uh, coming up in downtown Chicago, and outside of Portland, Oregon, on the Sun River, and the new one for next year in Elephant Butte, outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Ah! Tell me a fish story. Oh, boy. The one that got away? Oh, I've had a lot of those. Actually, I got a really good one. My friend Mark in the chair, he uh, won at one of our events here. He hooked into what we thought was the biggest fish anybody had ever caught. And this fish was going up and up. We couldn't pull it in. We couldn't pull it in. And every time we'd, we'd lift up on the pole, it'd flutter down just like this, and flutter up and flutter down. And I got to tell you, I've got that in my window today and what it was it was a great big piece of driftwood. We all we filmed it, we took pictures of it, all of us all of us reeled on it. We all really thought it was a great big fish. It was the funniest story. Not easy to fillet a piece of driftwood, is it? No, but but I but I stained I stained it and slacked it, so it really is pretty. If <laughs> if someone out there uh, looks at this uh, video presentation and wants to help out in the future, they're inspired in some way about it. How do they get a hold of someone? Who would they talk to? They go to uh, Fishing Has No Boundaries. You can call the Hayward office uh, or go to fhnbinc.org as or I'd, I'd suggest going to uh, on the web. But uh, call the Hayward Chamber of Commerce if you're looking for a place to stay. But it is it's the most wonderful experience you can ever do is uh, volunteering for our organization or volunteer for any organization. It really helps you out individually. No matter what your problems is, uh, you, you'll overcome them. I don't care what they are. Even if, even, you know, if you become a quadriplegic from a bad accident, don't worry about it because there's always something you can do to help out the world. Thanks for joining with us today, David. Appreciate it. Okay. I'll see you there. See you out on the lake. You betcha. And we're standing here on the shores of the Chippewa Flowage here where a whole bunch of pontoon boats are launching out here today for Fishing Has No Boundaries. Show and uh, I was just we were just talking with David Coons a few minute ago minutes ago and he said there's going to be about a hundred boats out here today and each one of these boats has uh, several people on it some guides and helpers uh, people who are in wheelchairs and uh, on crutches and uh, who have come out and these people are helping each other to take these people out to have a fishing experience here out on the Chippewa Flowage and it's a beautiful day out here. And uh, we're just across the street from the landing here.